Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Welcome to my segment and the old and new uh, Friends Valentine's event. I'm so excited to, to have been asked to come back and do this. Thank you very much, Sheila. I appreciate it. Um, now I'm going to wait for some eyeballs to get here with friends attached. How about that? That's the most important part. All right, get over here where I can see comments. I hope everybody's doing okay today. If you're watching on replay, um, give me a, drop a comment. Tell me who you are. Say hello, where you're from. If you're new, let us know so we can welcome you. We'd love to have you here. Hello, Iris and Becky. Hey, Cindy. Um, there's Vanetta. Oh, Donna. Hey, everybody. Tarita, Nancy. Oh, I'm so happy y'all are here. Come on in. Hey, Gail. Almost birthday girl. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. Hootie hoo, Summer. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Trish. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Angie. I got to talk to Angie on the phone yesterday. How about that? <laughs> hey, Brenda. So, um, I'm going to try to squeeze two different Valentine's creations in today. Hey, Opa and Debbie and Vicky and Pat. Everybody's getting here. Marilyn's here. Thank you. Y'all be watching. I think it'll probably be Monday. I got a new haul from Fairy Season last night. Ooh. It was just too perfect for today. I had to go on and wear it. I couldn't help myself. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Jermaine. So, those of you who are our regular followers know about our new uh, wood tags, and I didn't get to finish all of them. There are five tags in the, the kit. Um, I messed one up when I was live. We're going to use this one today. Believe it or not, we're going to fix that. I finished this one out live, and this one. So, I thought, how cute would it be to... Create another, ah, oh, Vicky. These are from Fairy Season 2 and my ring. It's a fidget ring. It's one of those spin ring, spinner rings, and y'all know me. It helps me. Hey, Polly. I'm so glad you did. Hi, Jenny. Good afternoon, Michelle. Thank you, Wendy. I really do love all the hearts. Making a big heart. So, they'll come unfinished. I got the Bobo ones because, you know, y'all get the good ones. Um, but... Doesn't matter. That part's not going to show anyway, but I just wanted to show them to you. So, we're going to start with one of these, and I'm going to get going because I want to see. I'm challenging myself, just like I'm challenging myself. Hey, Susan. I got to watch you earlier. I loved that box you made. That was so pretty. Um, I like to, you know, I'm challenging myself with an altered, whoop, altered trading card a day. So, why not challenge myself to get two of these done in a live? Right. Debbie, you know, I got that spinner ring a year ago. It's a snowflake from uh, Belle Lily. And I really found that it it helped. I would find myself just spinning that little, um, that little snowflake. So I ordered another one to try it out. This has a little heart on it that spins around. Um, yeah, and I love it. Today's my first time wearing it. I just got it last night, and it was just in time for this wonderful event. I'm so excited. So, now y'all saw me. Some of you may have seen me mess this up live. I was trying to do a transfer on the front of it. I didn't seal it before I put the transfer down. That's where I went wrong, but that's okay. I love this look. It's just an old vintage hymnal page. Y'all know I, I um, collect those. I've got a whole bunch of them in my stash. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Hey, Regina and Judy. Thank y'all so much. It's it's fairy season. So, I'm just hitting it with some more of that Distress Oxide in um, Vintage Photo, and I prepped so that maybe I can actually get two of these done. So, you know I love mixed media, and I love to build up, and I love to recycle and use, uh, you know, stuff that you might have thrown away, and this is just cardboard probably from an Amazon box I don't know for sure <laughs> thank you Cindy for dropping that code and link hey Barb how are you doing I'm so glad they got you in a room now oh I hope they get you fixed up so what I thought I would do 
is just cut a cardboard tag. Now, you don't have to order these wood tags from us. You can make them out of cardboard, you can make them out of paper, or you can buy them out of paper. Um, these are just if you want a little, you know, a little heavier piece and you don't have a way to cut them yourself. Mr. T cuts them and sands them, drills the hole, and you'll get little washers to go with it. Um, so I just cut it to be one size smaller. And I purposely left these pieces for interest. I thought that was kind of cool. I want this one to be, well, they're both going to be kind of rustic. I, I like that, you know, the, um, well, I do, a, I do a little bit of everything. I was going to say, I always love that. Got two tea bags. Wait, well, Penny. Hey, Carrie, the surprise live today. You didn't see my post. I'm in an event. I'm in an event. Hey, Sheila, I'm so, thank you so much for having me again. I'm so excited to be here in your event. This is so much fun. Uh, two big tea bags drying out because of you. I got something else I'm going to show you today. I've got all my people um, saving all kinds of trash. And all our husbands are like, what is going on? But that's okay. They don't need to know, do they? Mr. T doesn't know what he can throw away and what he's supposed to keep anymore. Oh, I keep him on his toes. So, I just thought this might be a cool look. You know, we're going to keep building out 3D. So, you get little peaks underneath this of the grungy, you know, little um, music. Thank you, Peggy. These are from Fairy Season 2. Really inexpensive. Yeah, I know, Penny. I mean, there's my husband. He's in a deer stand. Hey, baby. I didn't expect you to be here. Yay. That's my sweet baby. My sweet baboo. Um, I, I don't like symmetrical, and I like wonky. And so you can see the pencil marks. This is just another piece of cardboard. And I just wanted to cut a funny-looking little heart out of it that's going to go on top. But obviously, I don't want to do that because it's not going to show up as well. So what I did is I got out this beautiful, beautiful uh, rice paper from Digital Deco Designs. Look how beautiful. I keep rice paper from Kathy at Digital Deco Designs on hand so that I can just download digitally and print out whatever I want when she comes out. That's okay, Vicki when she comes out with her new designs. Well, I I, can, I use them whole, I pick them apart and get five projects out of them. This one's gonna be one that I'll use in all different kinds of creations. And I was looking at what part of this I wanted to put on the heart. I'm not a real uh, traditional um, Valentine's person, although I love it. I thought I'd do something different. So, I saw this beautiful little, um, it's kind of a pink and yellow uh, rose. And I'm going to just maneuver this heart around to where I like it. Flip it over right here and trace it. Uh oh, well, I moved it a little bit. Hopefully, that's not going to matter. We'll trace this out. out. Thank you, Michelle. It's my, it's brand new from um, Fairy Season. I just got it last night. I'm going to do a live haul video this month for y'all, probably on Monday. Um, so be watching for a notification about that. And Mr. T is going to help me. My nose is itching. I'm sorry. My allergies are out of control today. The wind is blowing. Um, something fierce, and I had to go get some dog food, and that did not help my situation one bit. My nose started itching. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm sorry. So, that's pretty. Pretty. Let me see. Let's put this on here. And so, the cardboard here, this is for texture and interest. And then this is to just elevate, make it, give it that 3D effect. Let's put a little Mod Podge down. 
I, it's crazy. The weather's going up and down. What is Gerald laughing at? <laughs> yeah, Cindy said you're supposed to be watching for deer, and here you are. Oh, she caught you. We caught you. Yeah, Iris, I think we're due for rain um, Sunday. It feels pretty darn good outside today. If it, if it weren't for that wind, uh, the wind is not very pleasant but it's not like it was yesterday we've got sunshine today so if i can look outside and at least see pretty sunshine i'm happy it's kind of funny because you're gonna see you see how you're gonna see the texture of the cardboard through there which i love and this is just such a raggedy you know off kilter heart with that beautiful, beautiful um, rose on the front, which I thought was kind of fun. Now, what I'm thinking about doing now, when I see this here, I think I might want to take a little bit of this magical chalk paint from Paint Pixie and Dreamsicle and just lightly hit this um, cardboard. Hey, Janet, welcome. It's your first time. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll come back and join us again. I do too, Iris. I'm off kilter and I like things that are off kilter. And it's, I just like it. I know it, it does set some people off when they really like symmetry and all. I don't like symmetry. Isn't that funny? I'm a weirdo. So I'm just gonna use one of my Paint Pixie brushes. And you get this dream sickle because it reminds me of the color in that rose. And I thought that might soften up this cardboard just a little bit. You know, I'm not going to worry about um, getting too fussy with it. I just want to pull out some color. To kind of, you know, just soften it. And if you haven't tried these Paint Pixie paints before, you need to. They are, the Magical Chalk paints are a combination of chalk paint and acrylic. And uh, I've, I've fallen in love with them. I've fallen in love with all their products, actually. The paint brushes and the, the paints. And I'm going to, uh, I'll be using some of their Liquid Pixie Dust, hopefully, before my time is up today on the next piece we're going to do. These will be really similar, but very different, I think. Now, look how pretty that is. It's just, it's hard to tell, you know, the real color in here, but it's, hey, Roxanne. Um, it is just a very soft, soft pink. And I think with this, oh, that's what I wanted. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's go on and put our... Our heart down. Thank you for the hearts, y'all. Oh, y'all are having ice and snow in Kentucky. Y'all are my northern neighbors. We are just outside of Memphis in Tennessee. Oh, I really like that. Now, I have a rusty washer. With this kit, you'll get um, five washers, but they're new. So, you'll need to rust them if you want them rusted. Some of mine, I just, I chose not to rust. Now, I want to use um, my B7000 to hold the metal in place. Thank you, Gail. Oh, thanks, Penny. I was hoping it would. I, I tried to really prep for y'all um, so you wouldn't see me running around trying to pull out things as I was having ideas. I wanted to get it prepped so maybe I can show you two different pretty ways. Well, I'm going to do one tag, and then I'm going to do something else. Um, let me just wipe that off. Okay, so there's our little rusty um, washer over the top. It, it is a kit in the shop, Tammy. Um, th there's five of these wooden tags, five washers. Yeah, that's what comes in this kit. Um, but like I told you, you can cut out your own uh, paper or cardboard um, tags to do the same thing. Now, what I think I want to do 
You know what I'm thinking about now is I've got this um, liquid pixie dust in onyx. It's a black shimmer. It's so pretty. I wonder if I can just hand letter right down here at this bottom in this blank space. Let's see if I can. I hadn't planned to do that, but when I looked at it, I thought, oh, that might be fun. My nose. I've even taken something, y'all. I should have taken a Benadryl instead. All right. We're keeping this one kind of romantical looking. Okay, let me show you that. So we'll just have that little love at the bottom. And we're going to then take just some jute, I think. Got to eyeball it. try this. I don't like that fat part right there. I may have to use a different piece, but let's see. Oh, Barb, I'm so glad you like it. So what I got out was my, oh, wait, I left out a part I wanted to do. <gasps> I'm so glad I remembered. Y'all, do you remember the other day when I told you I used the pixie dough from Paint Pixie? And, um, Where's my little, I have a little mold that's actually for uh, jewelry. It's a, a resin mold and I made it out of pix these little angel wings out of pixie dough just to see if I could. I want to put them on either side of the heart like that. Can y'all see that? And I want to, I think I want to paint them gold. So I've got this 24 karat. Let's see how they look. Real quick, I forgot I was going to put, oh, I'm glad I remembered that before I did that last part. Do, 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 do. Where's my, isn't it sweet, Michelle? I love how this is coming together. I'm excited. How am I doing on time? I think I can do too, because the second one's going to be even faster than this one, I think. Let's see. <laughs> I like to give y'all as many ideas as possible. Um... Here's a sheet of paper. Put this on. I love this uh, liquid pixie dust in 24 karat. Did I see Josie here? I can't remember. I thought I saw her a second ago, but maybe I made it up in my head. <laughs> that was way too much. Oh. I am so sorry about this itchy nose. Why the, it gets so bad when I go live. I don't understand that for the life of me. Oh, those are pretty. That was just a total experiment. Several months ago, I was at Michael's and I was over in the jewelry section and I saw these little silicone molds. And I thought, why couldn't I? use those just like we use, you know, with all of our stuff. Why couldn't I do like hot glue or something, which it works with hot glue. And then the other day I was working with my pixie dough that I'm totally in love with. Hey, Sue. And I thought, oh, I've got to itch my nose. It's so red. Um, I thought, wonder if pixie dough would work in that cute little silicone mold Pixie dough is so lightweight, it's like styrofoam when it dries, and um, it worked beautifully on these wings. I'll be making these little angel wings like crazy. And they, it, they, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to blow them dry, but they're too lightweight. <laughs> mm. 
It's a crazy show here. Right? I thought of that when I saw you coughing, Susan. You said you had not coughed all day. I thought, girlfriend, I get it. I get it. There's something. There's something. I want to know the science in that. Oh, I love this. I hope y'all like this. This just to be a little added something on here that I just thought made it look so, would make it look so cute. And I almost forgot them. So now I'm not so sure I'm going to do what I was going to do. I'll have to see if I want to or not. Look. Oh, I love it. What do y'all think? Yes, I did. In the jewelry section. I got it. Uh, I got this little mold. And I probably, I did some picking up and putting away yesterday. It was right there. And I would have shown you. But it's. It's just a little square mold about this big, and it's got several pieces in it. And when I saw the angel wings, I just thought, how beautiful would those be? That turned out pretty, didn't it, y'all? All right, let's... I was going to tie some jute around it and hang um, a totally dazzled key, but you know what I could do? Let's try this out. I, pull, I pulled my three... Oh, and I got out, wait a minute, I've got all these goodies. Where's that accent from? Texas, Tennessee, Tennessee, you caught me. I'm, from, I'm in Tennessee, just outside of Memphis. Okay, I pulled out some Tim Holtz ephemera that I have on hand. Love it. That was a possibility, but it doesn't go with this rose. So I'm not going to do this. I've got a little special delivery, but I also put the love down there. And so, there's also this little letter, and I thought, oh, that could be a love letter, right? You do with this tag, goofy. <laughs> I fixed it. I fixed it. So, that just blends in. It doesn't need it. I just like it oh, like it is. So, let's look at what the little totally dazzled keys in this antique gold might look like. See, that throws me off. I was going to hang it in the middle here, but I think I'm going to call this one done. Even if I put it over here, I think it's just a bit much. What do y'all think? Isn't that adorable little letter? I love that Tim Holtz ephemera. Y'all know, got that mixed media mystery box that's starting. It's full already, but they'll have a few more spots open for next month, and that's the kind of fun stuff you're going to get in it. But look how cute. I'm stopping. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, and let's move on. Yeah, I'd say done too. I'm, uh, I'm one of those less is more, and sometimes I stop too soon, I'll admit. Now, I pulled this. I wanted a block. This is primed. Um, we have these sets. Uh, he just cuts 12 of these blocks this thick um, and sands them for you so they're ready to craft with. We've had them in the shop forever and I had already primed this one and it was the size I wanted. You could also do what I'm about to do on another one of the tags if you get that kit or do a tag. But I thought I wanted to try this. I got into my hymnals and I got out Jesus Loves Me. I'm going to cut off the title. We're going to use it. Don't worry. And I want to get all that good, all the good, you know, where you can see that it's the actual music to Jesus Loves Me. In fact, I'm going to move it over here so we get that on there. Okay. Oof, let's do some Mod Podge. Hey, Lori, Lulu, how are you doing? Goodness, I saw that. Well, it was your pool boy, but I was looking at the pool. I'm old, you know. Uh, oh, my goodness, what a gorgeous place you have. Aren't you so happy? I'm so happy for you. Lori just moved, and I saw her beautiful pool. She's in Florida. Mm, I might be a tad jelly. I'm happy for you, but tad jelly. 
All right. So you see, we're starting out kind of similar. Um, we've got music because y'all know I love book pages and music sheets as backgrounds. I don't mind wrinkles, usually. Sure don't mind them on this. They just will give it character because we're going to age this. Right, let me wipe up some of that. I kind of went haywire on the uh, with the Mod Podge. Oh, hello, Diane. Welcome. I'm so happy to have um, new faces, new names here. And I hope you'll enjoy what we do. I usually go live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday in the afternoon. And my husband cooks um, live. I think we're moving that to Wednesday night now at 530. So we would love for you to um, hang out with us. We have a good time. We act silly a lot, but we have a good time. This is a sweet, sweet group of ladies. I have a free group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. I would love for you to join that where it's y'all's group. You can post anything you want to. Um, show us your grandbabies, show us your crafts, prayer requests, whatever is on your heart. All right. Now let's just give this a little bit of distress. We're going to go back to the vintage photo and watch my time. I got 20 minutes. And next up is Michelle from Design and Vine. And you know, if you're watching from Simply Siblings Crafts, oh, just drew a blank. Simply Siblings. Y'all help me out. <laughs> the group that you, Sheila's group that I've been in all day <laughs> watching everybody. Oh, Lindy. Oh, Lindy. Now this one, I really do want to make look almost like dirty. Kind of. I want to take some of the black onyx. Um, I mean, just it's onyx. <laughs> Liquid pixie dust. And I want to take this brush and let me see. I have a vision in my head. Let's see if I can do it. Thank you. I had her Simply Siblings Crafts. That's, I was right. Yay. And what I want to do with this is run along these edges. Let's see how this is going to look. I could have done it with the uh, ground espresso ink, but I really like the little bit of shimmer in this black onyx. And what I think I'll probably end up doing is painting the edges with it. But I'm going to be able to hold it up and show y'all. So, you will you know, you can visualize if we've got a dark block. And this is what we're starting out with. Take your finger and just get in there. and There we go. Really edge it. Debbie, thank you so much. Hey, Jane, thank you for sprinkling. That's okay. I know you are busy, busy. You've got a lot going on. Well, Jane, look, I did a little mixed media on one of our wood tags. How about that? Now I'm working on a second project. Here's where I'm, did I not get out my, well, silly? It's right down here. Let me get my crimson liquid pixie dust. Would y'all look at this color? Ooh, it's shimmery. Uh, no, we don't sell the molds and the papers. You can get, um, th this particular mold is from Michael's. I just happened to find it in the jewelry section. Um, we just have the tags and the washers and the kits. All right. Um, I think I'm going to use the same brush. Why not? Oh, there you go, Barb. That's what you need to do. The pixie dough is awesome. It is awesome. Now, I want to do, I want to try to just freehand another one of those wonky parts. 
and I, you know, I, I really want it wonky. Ooh, I like this uh, crimson on here. Hey Liz, I'm so happy you're here. Um, it is from Paint Pixie, Gretchen. Uh, I have a link for you if you'd like it. Um, these, I'm using, I use a lot of Paint Pixie stuff. Um, I have, these are all the Paint Pixie paints, um, paint brushes, Pixie dough. You can go back and look at some of my lives where I've actually worked with, you know, all of it. Um, show you how to cast the molds with it. It's really fun. Um, this today, Friday, Tuesday, I did their succulent kit. I love that mold. Do y'all like succulents? I made like five different things with that. It does, doesn't it? It matches the hearts on my shirt. That's right, Barb. See, you laying up in the hospital bed being all creative. Hello, Jeanette from Twin Creek Creations. Marilyn, it's um, it's at Paint Pixie. I have a link for y'all, and I bet you Cindy's already working on it. Because, you know, I could say, hey, Cindy, drop that link. She's already on it. I don't have to say that. LT Designs, welcome. We've got so many new friends friends here today. I'm so excited. See, there it is already. There's the paint pick. So you can click that, go right up to the top of the page and it'll say shop and you'll get a drop down bar. Kits are at the top. You'll find um, the succulent kit. I think it's the first one there, but scroll on down. You'll find paints, paint brushes, pixie dough. It's wonderful. You can get that little kit for, um, $12 and it you know has a sample of pixie dough in it that I made I cast I think five five of that mold of everything with that one kit um, there are these cute no oh, they're not on my table see when I put stuff up now I just want to take this 24 karat and I'll, I'll hold it up and show you I'm using the side of my brush to just give it, you know, a little bit of that. Now I'm gonna dip into the onyx that I have over here, and I'm gonna try to just really loosely and kind of haphazardly. Um, oh, you bought one of the angel kit. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Jeanette. Uh, Y'all just make me so happy. Um, I just wanna go loosely, you know, there's a look I'm going for that I don't have a word for, but I guess grunge kind of, you know, just real loose around the edge. I'm not going to be real fussy about it because I don't want it to look fussy. Yeah, Lisa and I did the um, angel wings yesterday live and uh, oh, Lisa did such a great job. They were so beautiful and even threw in, you'll now get um, a free printable when you order those angel wings. Uh, because she designed it and um, offered it just for our kit. So that was pretty cool. You'll be able to use that over and over. All right. So we have this. So we got the um, Jesus Loves Me um, music on the back. And you know, I cut it out of the top. <clears throat> so let me go on and just... There's not anything left on there. Let me grunge up. How am I doing? Good, 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 good. I don't want this to be stark white on here, obviously. That was the 
vintage um, photo. You could stamp this on the heart. You could hand letter it on the heart. But I thought, you know what? We could also just use the title. How easy is that? Oh, that's going to be so sweet. Let me just let me glue that down on there. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out the placement for what I want to do next. Okay, that's good. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do... I'm just going to do the tiniest bit of Mod Podge. Just the tiniest bit. If I can not overdo it. Should use my tweezers, right, Lori? I know you're saying get your tweezers out, Lindy. I'm in a hurry. I'm determined that I'm going to get both of these done. Just like that. You say, Lindy, why did you crowd it? But I want to add something to it. Hey, Cindy. I'm at work and in and out. I just do not make. Oh, it sh it's the one where we joined or are offering another one. Um, uh, Cindy Kane, could you answer that for me? I couldn't, um, I couldn't get all of that. It keeps bumping up. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Now, I really kind of want to. You know what I'll do? I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to get the flare out. I have my glasses. Let's just go right around this real loose. like that just to make them stand out just a little bit more and I didn't make it fussy and now let's do this these uh, these little blocks make great little you know mixed media pieces and then you can just set them they're they're shelf sitters um, you can put them on tiered trays there's a lot you can do with them we did uh, 12 because I was doing one a month. I showed you how this was gosh a year or so ago and um, it's perfect. I, I did several months to show y'all what you could do to change up your tiered trays with them. All right so this is just really thin jute that I had on hand. And I think this is the key I want to do. I'm totally dazzled. Do y'all have this uh, key set? It is so beautiful. I love it. I got to meet Natalie and spend some time with her in Oklahoma City last October. And she's the doll. What do you think of that? So it kind of tied it all together with the gold. So this is what we've got. Now, we've got six minutes. Y'all can tell me if there are any embellishments you think I should add to these two. Thank you for the hearts. These were so much fun. Jay knows I get the biggest kick out of doing mixed media. I love mixed media. 
Um, and you might have noticed that I'm doing an altered trading card a day, a little video, and just trying to, you know, hone the craft. It's hard when you're doing a little bitty card and um, you're limited by whatever image pops up for that day. But it's it's fun. I'm having a great time with it. Thank y'all so much. Does it need anything? Hey, Joby, thank you. Oh, y'all are so sweet. How will you hang the Jesus Loves Me one? This one is actually probably going to sit. It's a, you know, it's big enough to sit. So I will probably, you'll probably see it in the background over here for a while. Um, but you could, I mean, you could put a little hanger on the back. You could drill two holes in it and hang it by a wire uh, or jute for that matter. Um, but really just a little, just a little shelf sitter. You can put it in a vignette on your shelf. Um, this one, I'll put some jute or probably on this one. Sorry, silk. Let me see. Let's cut a little sorry silk. I think I might cut this in half, actually. I hope you get something for your kitchen and being irritable, I could see you get like that. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It bothers me. It just bothers me because... Uh, oh, you are so sweet, Barb. How thick is the tag? Let me hold up one that's not, um, that's how thick it is. So they're plenty sturdy, but they're not big and thick like this, you know. Um, I finished this one out this way with a little stencil from Chalk Couture. I finished this one out with some recycled paper and molds with pixie dough and the sterling liquid pixie dust. So you can make them, you know, all different. You can tag, uh, uh, I mean, hang it on a gift as a little extra gift. You can tuck it in, um, a little happy for a friend. Or you can hang them, you know, hang them from a, a knob in your home. You can do them a bunch of different ways. I got, let me show you this one. This is what gave me the idea. In the mixed... No, it wasn't the mixed media. It was the uh, mystery box challenge, Maddie's mystery box challenge. Um, I got a tag. It's an old paper tag to create with. And so that's what I created with the tag. That's actually a picture of me that I printed onto tissue paper and then waxed. And there's some uh, totally dazzled, one of my uncle's old watch faces, my grandmother's buttons. This says time flies. So you can use, you know, a paper one. You could cut it out of cardboard. Uh, we just wanted to offer these because I have Mr. T and I can say, hey, would you go cut me a set of tags that I can play with? I just keep them on my table um, to play with them. Uh, Penny, I didn't get to it, but look. I've got um, coffee filters that I was actually thinking about cutting the heart out for this, but I didn't. <laughs> so save your coffee filters too. <laughs> would they fit inside a glass frame? Yes. These would be really pretty. Let me show you this. This will be a future project. I love to get these from the wood pile. We've got two minutes in Hobby Lobby. So I could create a little vignette, have a pretty coordinating rice paper in the back. I'll have my sorry silk little hanger and put that in there. You know, so, I mean, they're ver versatile. It's, it's only limited to your imagination and your creativity, and I know how creative y'all are, but, you know, you could do a little shadow box with one of these in there. So, um, yeah. Just some ideas. <laughs> oh, Debbie, I'm so glad. Did it make it okay? I hope it made it fun. But these are, here's what we did. Y'all go watch Michelle at uh, Design and Vine. 
And thank you again, Sheila, for having me in this event. I had so much fun. And I hope, um, anybody who's new, I hope you'll come back and see us again. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.